For this stem bite, I'm going to show you what to do with that old broken pair of headphones. So you know that I use glass to make these videos, and one of the cool things about glass is that there are no earbuds, right? Your ears are open to hear everything else, but you can still hear through the device. The way it works is there's a little bump in here uh, which rests against your skull, and it vibrates. And so through this process called bone conduction, it vibrates the bones in your head, including the bones in your ear, and that's how you hear. One of my favorite things to do with an old broken set of headphones is make my own bone conduction device. Let me show you how. So there's this special drawer which we call Uncle Drew's drawer because whenever my nieces and nephews come over they know this is where all my cool stuff is including, here it is, my bone conduction speakers. So the key to making your own bone conduction speakers is understanding how a speaker actually works. Inside here is a tiny magnet and a coil of wire wrapped around it. Through that wire, an oscillating electric current is sent. And as that current oscillates back and forth, carrying the signal of the music, it creates a small magnetic field which forces the magnet to kind of jump back and forth. Jumping back and forth makes the air move back and forth, which is what makes the sound that we hear. The key piece of equipment you need to make your own bone conduction uh, device is a small electric motor. These are usually like a dollar, actually it says 75 cents. Electric motor is surprisingly similar to a speaker. It has a magnet inside and a coil of wire. So when an oscillating current passes through, instead of causing something to move back and forth, it causes this little axle to kind of spin. Dee -dee 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 -dee, back and forth, Dee -dee 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 -dee, and back and forth. To make this, let me just show you. When you see an electric motor, there'll be two power leads to it. And if you cut the speaker off one of your headsets, you'll see there's actually two wires inside there as well. All you do is connect the two wires. Let me show you how it works. Now when it's playing music, you won't even be able to see it rotating. It'll be like a microscopic rotation back and forth, but you might be able to just kind of hear a little bit of a vibrating sound. And if you touch it to something like a table or maybe a cup, you'll hear that sound amplified. But the very best way to hear it is actually to bite down on this. So if I actually take this little motor and bite on it between my teeth, <laughs> I can actually kind of hear the music like it's coming from inside my ear. It's really cool. It's not that hard to do. You should definitely try it yourself. Stand by.